shit out of somebody. Mm-hmm. They're going to take me to jail. Yeah. You're going to jail. Will Smith is like the popular guy in high school that can do no wrong. Like, 
All right, we know he yeah, grabbed a girl's Bel-Air booty. Too. I've been watching Bel Air too. That seems to be. Yeah, um, that, and that's really a thing, though. You got to think about like the athletes that are in school, football players, just for instance. I feel like that's you know a thing, and there's a party going on, and all the girls want to you know be around them and whatever, but they get off scot free if they have unconsensual sex with girls, you know because they're an athlete and have these scholarships coming to them and are this name and I feel like that's what happened with Will Smith. Like let that have been Lil Dirk <laughs> fucking Chief Keith slap somebody on live T V, he would have went on stage off stage in handcuffs. That's what I'm saying. That, yeah. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. That's why I feel like it's fake. But see you gotta think of who Will is. Will ain't no little motherfucking dirt. Will ain't no motherfucking Will uh <laughs> Exactly. So if you're gonna do that to the little fish, get the big fish. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta the big fish is what keeps this pond well, you can't even fit in this pond. That's a whole different pond. Exactly Will, my Will point. Smith is in a whole different Will Smith pond. gotta keep feeding this pond from his fucking ocean of opportunities and his this circle, his That's entourage. The parties. Whatever it is, you know Hollywood is into some weird ass shit. Will Smith is one of them guys. Will Smith has a lot of power. Everybody clapped after his speech. Everybody, nobody said shit. There, Denzel was sitting right there, like, and watch that man smack Chris Rock. <laughs> we'll talk, no, Denzel told him, uh, <laughs> when when you're at your highest point in the life, in your life, that's when the devil gonna come and try you, <laughs> nigga. That ain't have nothing to do with the motherfucking devil. <laughs> that that nigga just mad for. That bitch having an entanglement two years ago. So why he ain't slap? Oh boy. Who's to say he didn't? He did. How you know? August Alcina's a little fish. He might have that shit hush hush, you feel me? Man, you slap Chris Rock, bro. Chris Rock ain't no little fish. I agree. Hey, but you did it on TV, so we have proof that it happened. That's the that, only that reason it's is, something. That is assault. Had they run into each other <laughs> at the nightclub? Nobody would have heard about this shit because everybody had to sign NDAs. And that's more of my point. Like, why didn't you wait until then? Because I'm mad right now. So what? And my wife gave me the look. My wife said... So you said, don't have no self-control? No. No, I completely agree with what you're saying right now. His whole... The whole speech just gave me, like, um... The Oscars is, is some prestige shit. 100%. Like, that's, that's not no <clears throat> ordinary nigga shit. Like, you... <laughs> They ain't invite me to that motherfucker. They ain't invite me. They ain't invite us. We went on the red carpet, so you know it's so. And we won't be invited. I'll be at the BET Awards. But I ain't about to be at no goddamn Oscars. I told you I can't fucking act. Nah, shit. Megan Thee Stallion don't act. They invited her to perform. You feel me? You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? These are stand up comedians. They got them posting there. It's like regular people out there. Like, not regular, but you know, upper echelon people. Like it's people that don't act in the crowd is my is my point. Yeah. So you do you feel like Will Smith was right or wrong? I can't even say right or wrong. In in that moment, you was wrong. You know the level of what's at hand right now. You know what I'm saying? This is like winning a championship, like an NBA championship or, or NFL through Super Bowl. This is that caliber, if not higher. You get what I'm saying? This is some, this is some only y'all can come in. And touch Paul's it. right. Paul's right there. So, but you don't think to him, that's normal. That's not a big deal to me. I'm just at an award show. Shit. To to who? To Will. It can't be normal because this this your first one. But I'm just saying, I don't. Again, I don't feel like I'm in some. I feel like see, I'm I being like, myself. I'm a still a nigga at the end of the day, I don't and think I'm you're mad. Being self. For one. I don't condone black on black violence. I'm gonna say that. You know what I'm saying? And I also and I also don't condone um I also don't condone the dis like blatant disrespect of women, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean you know I rap, bitch this, whatever. Ha ha ho da, da, da. But you know, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I ain't for that. But what I don't think is that Chris Rock was on that shit. Like, I don't think he was... He didn't have any malice behind his no. comment. Like, I think it was a joke that he thought was funny. And it may have not been funny to the public. 
but that's what it is. Like, but it's up to Will in that moment to be like, all right, I'm gonna holler at you after this shit over. Mm-hmm. Like, I got to. If it, if it's that serious, I got to. But you yelling in the middle. Of, see what it is is they shouldn't tell motherfuckers who gonna win. Like, if you know you're gonna win an Oscar. They're not gonna tell you like, oh, you can't, oh, you now you can't get your Oscar because you did that stupid shit. Like you feel me? Like they ain't gonna tell. They tell you you win, so now it's your night. Everybody know you. Like everybody know you about to. Win. That's why you're invited. And that's why you went up there and smacked that man. And see, that kind of goes into my point. Will it was smelling himself. Like when you're in that environment and these people already kissing your ass, you already know that you're up here to your ass. Kissing your ass. Is that how I said it? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't feel like he was right or wrong. Uh, Chris Rock was unknowingly, innocently wrong just just because she, he didn't know about her existing disease. You know? I, I don't feel like anybody was wrong. I know Jada was probably like, that's my so man. Al- after that. Al- she probably, disease? 100%. There's more than just hair loss that comes with that. But... Um, I feel like, I don't feel like anybody was wrong. Oh, that's what I was about to say. I feel like Dana probably went home who was like, I'm about to give you that gawk gawk 5,000 on the way home in the car. Oh. We in the back of the goddamn Bentley truck. Like, whatever the fuck y'all got going on. I don't know what rich people do after award shows, but I know she probably went crazy for him. Like, because that shit is sexy. At the end of the day, I'm trying to make my wife happy. I don't give a fuck about none of these people. I don't give a fuck about what nobody thinks. I'm trying to make her happy right now. She ain't happy with your joke, bitch. I don't like your joke. <laughs> now I don't like your joke. So why but, you ain't give me that gawk gawk when I shot the fade down? Because that was not for me. <laughs> that shit you do with me. <laughs> you some bullshit. <laughs> now if it did, why would it went crazy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, just letting it be known. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't even see know what, what the fuck was going on. Y'all see what I be going through now? This shit crazy. You feel me? I gotta have the skills of Mike Tyson. Will Smith. That's that weak ass shit. Nah, fuck that. that. On camera, you gotta go slap Chris Rock ass. I don't give a fuck who you is. <laughs> Smack that nigga for me back. I will slap Chris Rock and you won't do shit. Like, look, respectfully. <laughs> Like, you get what I'm saying? No, I'm just saying. Like, I slap Chris Rock. You know what? I, I feel like too much light has been shined on Will Smith about this whole thing because of his actions. But Chris Rock is really real. 100%. We need to give him his flowers for how he reacted to that shit. Now, this is what I'm saying. Next week, if you hear Will Smith got shot the fuck up and shit like that, then it's going to be, oh, all this crazy shit. But, bro, like you did that. You did that in front of a different echelon of people too. Like you did that to people who eat like He ain't getting shot up, he just gonna be missing. That, that too, you know what I'm You're like, uh, exactly. We're gonna true story your ass, boy. Yeah. With you. Shout out to Taylor Hawk if you feel me. Yeah, but no, Chris Rock needs his flowers for how he reacted. That man kept his composure. He still was able to make jokes. He was able to go on with the show. He was, you know. Yeah, he got through a segue. Yeah, he, he did, segue. you know, phenomenal. Like, that. That's a, that is a bigger person to me. Yeah, Will stood up to his, for his woman. But, like, Chris Rock is the, is the, um, the star of the show. Cause that's I would have knocked Chris Rock ass out. If, if, I'm just saying, if I got a clear shot like that. And this man did Sit this. Down. This man did this after he smacked that man. Like he's he straightened his back. fucking suit the and walked his away. Back. That was some crazy shit. Like, bro, don't turn, you smack me and I'll turn your back. See, but Chris Rock is thinking about the bigger picture. Yeah, we got a back. I'm already hosting the Oscars, mind you. They they kicked Kevin Hart off from hosting the Oscars because yeah. whatever the fuck he did. But um, cheated on his wife. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we can, we can get look. to that later. <laughs> yeah, look, we, we can to transition that, uh, to that later. conversation. <laughs> but, yeah, I think Chris Rock is a is a great man for being able to hold his composure, finish out his duties, and be able to. And he still apologized. But if 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 that were, if Chris Rock was your husband, mm-hmm. would you say he's gangster? I would. I, we've had this conversation many a time. Well, you you think I just want niggas that shoot shit nah, up? 
but you said you love what Will Smith did. I do, and I've also said that neither one of them were right in the situation. Chris Rock, right, yes. Let's, let's take a shot for, uh, for Chris for Rock. Chris Rock. Because I feel bad. Like, I love a nigga that can keep his shit together. Like, that is hard to do. Who do you love? <laughs> See, and that's my battle every day. I don't know what I love. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want a nice guy, a gangster. I don't know what I want. <laughs> Cheers to that. You gotta be a Styles P, man. Against the energy, man. Yeah, period, fool. Ain't that what the kids say these days? I thought it was the fuck. Alright. But yeah. I mean, definitely stand up for your wife when necessary. That's hard. Nah. Some, some people don't mean no malice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like every everybody that say everything quick sidebar. Oh shit. Sidebar. I'm just giving a not like a situation where sometimes like I, I was in Chris Rock's shoes. Ain't nobody slapped me or none of that shit. We ain't going for that. That ain't gonna cool you smack. Cat. You know that's cat. <laughs> You know, I'm getting dead. Yeah. You however, better fucking keep rapping, however, nigga. Shut up. However, you feel me? However, however, if you put your hands on me, boy, be prepared for all this shit. No cap. I ain't even gangster. I ain't tough. None of that shit. I'm really a sweetheart. But do not put your fucking hands on You don't think you can keep your composure? Think about what if that's saying. If a motherfucker slap me, yeah. sorry, baby. Get that sick, uh, you know, grab the. Grab the bread. I need sixty dollars a week. You know, put, put thirty on the phone. We ain't even doing that because I don't just come outside and do that to people. So I ain't gonna expect that nor respect that from anybody. Like, don't put your hands on me. You can say whatever you want. I completely agree you, with that. You can say, you can call me whatever you want. Like, you feel me? Because for one, you don't know. Me. For two, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Now, when it gets physical, come on, bro. I like, mm -mm. and you know, I got I got PTSD and ABCD and all that shit, bro. Like, so <laughs> you... like don't don't harm, don't try to harm me physically. You can try mentally, you can try emotionally, whatever the fuck, however, the fuck, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Like you can say whatever you want. Yeah, I shit. We was at Wildin' Out. The motherfuckers kept kept talking shit to us. It was all funny. I know it was funny, but what if it wasn't funny to me or to you? You wouldn't have laughed. I'm saying exactly. Exactly. My point. So why was that man laughing at us? Because again, he was sticking up for his wife. No, why was he laughing at the because joke? Because he thought it was funny until he seen his wife didn't think it was funny, and that is his his that bone in his neck bone and his in his head later on tonight, and he wanted to make sure. That she was going to be good after this and he was still going to be good in her life. I don't give a fuck about what Chris Rock think about me. I give a fuck about who I'm going home to think about me. I think about both. I I, I see too many perspectives. That's probably my problem. I'm yeah. so unbiased see, me, that my shit probably don't even make sense. He like, bitch, pick a side. I don't know what side I'm picking. See, I don't me, know. <laughs> in Will Smith's shoes. In Will Smith's shoes. Because I have punched a, lot, a couple, not a lot, but I've punched a few motherfuckers in their mouth. Like, this is documented. A lot. This shit is. You ain't punched nobody about me. I didn't know you at the time. Spicy. But, uh, <laughs> and I hope, hopefully. I ain't see you knock that no, nigga out, baby! Listen. Listen. And, and the shit I have done up until I met you is the reason I ain't have to do that to nobody. Because they know not to play with me like that. You get what I'm saying? Uh, That's what you. You feel me? Why are you even playing with that man's wife like that? Like, this ain't no motherfucking joke. You don't even know what's going on. If you say you don't know what's going on, then you don't know what's going on. So shut the fuck up. That's me in Will Smith shoes. Understood. Me in Chris Rock shoes. See, I will be thinking about. In Chris Rock shoes, it would be a pride thing. You get what I'm saying? Like. Boy, me and my wife just got divorced and all this shit, boy. You think you about to just come up here and smack me? I'm about to take yeah, all You just got divorced? Yeah, you don't remember oh, my stand-up? I do you remember, remember my stand-up? We talked about it? Yes. Yeah, so 
at this point, I'm like, Shout out bro, I'm about to take out all my pain on you. I'm about to take out all my pain on you, brother. You put your hands on me, and, and then, like, you could have smacked me backstage. You could have smacked me but at you the smack, after party. You smacked me in front of all these light-skinned people. Millions. This shit is out of pocket, bro. We ain't doing that. Millions of people. We're not doing that. Like, please, do not try to physically harm me in any shape, form, or fashion, because I'm ready for whatever. <laughs> I'm ready for whatever consequences I have to deal with. Um, that's just, you know. That's just a disclaimer. How do you think Jada felt in that moment? Just it, I, I feel like she had mixed emotions. Yeah. Like, yeah, she had mixed emotions. Like, cause she was sad. No, she she wasn't sad at all. Well, when I say sad, I mean about her condition, about her alopecia. Alopecia? You gonna be sad about that? Yeah. Well. You got to think, come a woman, uh, your hair is everywhere. Well, why the fuck didn't you, you got, you got all this fucking money. Why the fuck didn't you no, get somebody to put a wig on you? because y'all need to be accepting of everybody. All right, then, so what Don't you sad about? Don't shit to me. I ain't trying to hear that pity shit. Nah, nah, <laughs> you got to, again, I got to see all sides. Did you get a brush cut? Because I had to. Because uh, if my shit was patchy, right. y'all would have been talking about me too. But you didn't, but. In, in that aspect, you didn't have to come outside with your brush cut. Shit. Shit. Went to the Oscars well, I, to support my husband who just won one. Well, I know. So you better I fucking know, support me. I know project bitches that keep their weave shit together. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do I'm with that. No, I'm telling you. So what the fuck you crying about? If you outside with a brush cut. I got brush millions brush, of people just, looking at me. That's the difference. Just because Betty on the bus. See me, I don't give a fuck about Betty on the bus, but I care about hundreds of thousands of millions of people seeing me. Okay, and you decided to come outside, so hundreds of millions. To support my husband, so you better go smack this nigga, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, bitch, you better put on a wig. Nah, fuck that, put smack all wig. these niggas. Because <laughs> uh, when I go to jail, you're going to be back fucking August. <laughs> she was fucking you in, exactly. outside of jail. That's why I ain't smacking nobody. And, that, and Will, she, I ain't smacking that man. Just that man say you got the ball deep. That's how you know we've been doing this talk show a long time because we talked about the August. I've I seen the entanglement too with them. Yeah. And now we're back outside. You feel me? Uh, that shit weird. Why you ain't like smack? They're out, they're you so ain't low. smack that man? You, you ain't even smack her. If, if, if it's like that, who knows? You're going to smack somebody that ain't got nothing to do with nothing that's just like doing their job. Like that man was hosting. That man was telling jokes. It, shit was funny. And that's what it was like. Yeah. Like why you go up? You could have. You had. You had all night to smack the shit out of that man. All night. So, let me ask you this: So you never been in a position where you felt like you had to act right now? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. That was it. That was it. But it wasn't. It wasn't a predicament where I felt like, oh. I should wait and get you later. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that. Yeah. It wasn't that. <laughs> it really wasn't that. Like, oh, I'm going to get you later. Like, nah. Like, nah. Man. This is this calls for this. And it, it, so, uh, let me ask you this. Is Fresh Prince based off of Will Smith's real story? Like, is he really from Philly? Yes, he's really, he's definitely from Philly. Definitely. That's why he's smacking his the Will, the Will Smith, the, the Bel Air shit that we watched <clears throat> recently mm -hmm. is the reciprocal of so he really how he was trying to, to respond to the Bel Air or his auntie somewhere. I, I, yeah, I feel like it. Mm -hmm. You know, but they showing you the other side of it because you know back then it was like we gonna talk about we gonna talk about uh we gonna talk about the good life. We talk about the good life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what they was doing back then. Yeah. But now, you know, all the all the bullshit sells, all the violence and all of that shit, that's what sells. So, you know, that's why they put this bell there out to show you the other side. Like, okay, that was for that that was for T V back then, but this I think we need to watch the um the King Richard thing. The uh, Serena and oh, Venus. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, is his name really King Richard? 
Hold on, look, I gotta Google that. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> you, you go ahead. I need to figure that shit out. But you talking he, about their father? Yeah, because they made it seem like he really is a, a major key, which, of course, your mother and father are a big key in your success. But I didn't know if, um, you know, how big of a name he was before, before then. They just put up the movie. Let's see the name. Um, Tiger, um, Tiger, Jerry Venus's father. You know who you're talking about. Uh, no. <laughs> Serena His Venus. name ain't even Richard? I know. It is Richard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, it is Richard Williams. That's crazy. He taught his daughters how to be goats. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder, outside, outside of his daughter's success, obviously he could made off of it. But, like, if he already was, like, training people in Pan Am for anything. Yeah. Like, if he already had a name, you know. I'm going to look that up. I'll bring that up on the next show because I'm curious now. I want to watch the show. Yeah, but in his apology speech, he brought that up so much. I'm like, you just trying to promote this. That's what made me skeptical of it. He kept referencing the show. King Richard or Bel Air? King Richard. What Will Smith got to do with King Richard? He's the it's dad the in the show, in the movie. Now you see why I say shit is fake. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm still right with you, babe. I'm right with you. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I don't like it. It's too, it, it, and which I also hate, again, I, I see too many sides for me to like stick to one side. I hate that society has kind of made us numb to shit. Like, we don't even know if it's real. The fact that we're questioning if it's real just shows you how much shit gets pushed on to us. You know, I want you to believe this, believe this, this is facts, this is facts. You don't know if that shit's facts or not. Like, you don't know. You're just going to have to question everything. I, I can't stand that. We should be able to see something and believe it for what it is instead of, Thinking and thinking and like, damn, is that real? Well, let me see if this is real. Because if this ain't real, then this ain't real. Like, I think that's where a lot of anxiety comes from. But that's another topic. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> Mental I feel health. Like that's, I feel like that's, <laughs> that's the people's whole goal. To keep you like... Fucked up. And suspense and fear and all of this shit. Because fuck that Will Smith. Fuck that Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock shit. Because that's really petty. It's a distraction, right? They say. They say. Motherfuckers are getting blown the fuck up. Mm. They just said, Joe Biden just said, <laughs> Joe Biden just said, we are going to, uh, he said, Russia is going to use a, a EMP. We're going to be in a blackout. And we're going to have a food shortage. And that shit ain't even been talked about like. Look, I didn't even know about it until you told me about it the other day. Yeah, I said, get them goddamn noodles. <laughs> noodles and soup. Get them noodles and soups. <laughs> this is when we got to eat canned food. If shit, go, if shit get like that, it, it, like, yeah, get them noodles and that canned food. And we'll be able, we're going to have to eat cold noodles, but it is what it is. Because if, if he know, uses it, charcoal grill. I ain't eating cold food. I'm sorry, keep going. I got distracted. I can't see myself eating cold food if I don't have to. I don't give a fuck if it's apocalypse. I'm fighting away. (laughs) This egg about to be fried on this windshield, bitch. What is he talking about? (laughs) I'm not eating no cold food. (laughs) If 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 that's what's about about to transpire, yeah, then you know. But that's why I feel like they give you all of these. All of this extra shit going on. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, bro. Will Smith, you're not even known for nothing. Like, you're not, not not for nothing. You get what I'm saying? Like, street shit. I'm talking about, you're not known for none of that gangster shit, bro. Like, you Will Smith, bro. Yeah, that's like, you don't even curse. You don't even, you never curse in none of your songs. Like, come on, bro. What are you talking about? Like, we, like, like you, you really did that at the Oscars? See, and, that, and that's, again, where my battle in my head come, comes back to. Because this, ma- this man has been genius his whole career. Like you said, he's been so clean cut. He's been so... He's iconic. Yeah. Like and mold. then for this to be your moment. 
where if you're so clean cut and you're keeping all this under wraps and you you're making sure that you just look good on paper. You're you know so clean cut, you're winning an Oscar. Mm -hmm. That's how clean cut you are. You fuck that, I'm about to smack this nigga. <laughs> you are winning a fucking Oscar. What the fuck? That's how clean cut you are. It's so and for you to just go out, just go off the rails like that. That's crazy. Dude, you gotta think about well, this again. This is just me, like having somebody fuel your fire. This man is almost sixty years old, fifty years old, however old he is, fueling your fire all the time. You can do no wrong. I don't. I really am now at this point. I'm brainwashed. I can't do no wrong. Me going up here and smacking <laughs> this man. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not even thinking about the repercussions of it. I'm just acting in my my real feelings. Okay. He's acting so in bar, his real bar. feelings. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why can't I get a pass if I do that? Who? Because you a regular ass nigga, nigga. Yes. <laughs> I am very you much so. You got down to right. yes. I, ain't gonna I am very say much so regular. And that's why I should be. My name is Tere Kareem Grant. Okay. Yes. I am. You, uh, Google me. Google Google Tere Kareem Graham or Young Glad. Feel me? Uh, but yeah. But why why wouldn't a regular degular get that type of pass? But somebody who's been a nice guy all of their life, how do you get to do this in public? Like I said, you have all night to motherfucking smack this man. He had a hall pass. And that's the whole the whole high school reference that I made. That has been his whole life. Will Smith might as well be a cookie cutter name, like the Smiths. That is a perfect ass family to us. Him falling off his rocker. One hundred percent. This is just recently, you know what I'm saying? But no, you, no, mind no, you, no, on the old Fresh Prince, they show you they they had they had issues. Like, the show they, is what like you're talking Phil, about. Like Phil didn't really yeah, you're talking about him. the show. I'm talking about him and Jada being married thirty plus years, having two kids outside of before he was married to Jada. He does have a, a son, but like they've had this perfect life this whole time. This is his first mistake. I, you can't wash out thirty fucking years of perfection. For one mistake, I don't give a fuck who's watching. You know what I feel like y'all are going to say it's a mistake and it's all good and we can do that. Because how they reacting? You lose control? No. What? Because y'all seen him get cheated on in marriage. Oh, they so, have that sympathy. They're like, yeah. yeah. yeah so I'm with like, you. Yeah, so it's like, oh, nah, he was tired of shit. Like, yeah. He was on know. his weak sin. But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm saying, though. You know what I'm saying? You sat down. Didn't he sit down with August? No, he was. Who sat down with August and had that interview? Some lady. Some lady. So who Will Smith was sitting down talking to? Jada. Okay, so you sat down with your woman and listened to her talk about how she fucked with your son's friend. Because she are, he already had this conversation with her. We don't know what happened before. No, they no, got no, no, no. Like That's, yeah, you definitely, yeah, she definitely had that conversation before. But what I'm saying is, you was willing to have this conversation on TV. Yeah. That shit could have been, y'all could have signed NDAs. That's the thing, it's all about the picture perfect family. If we pitch but this. y'all not picture perfect. 100%. I'm Nobody agreeing with you. Is. I'm completely Nobody agreeing with you. Nobody is 100%. You got to think about society, though. Society believes everything they see on fucking TV and social media. I don't give a fuck what it is. They're going to believe it. Yeah. So them showing that they're this solid household on TV, we're still going with that narrative. That was just a fluke in the marriage. That wasn't... We're still painting it, writing this story for them. Even We have no idea. He probably has a whole girlfriend, and she probably has a whole nigga outside of this shit. But in the... What do they call it? A united front? We're a family. We have our two... I don't even see them take pictures with his other son. I've never seen that man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've never seen that man except for before they were, like, grown, which is a long time ago. Willow got her nipples out and shit. I still picture her with fucking whipping her hair back and forth. Don't even get me talking about that because I'm stressed. I'm old. But I, I, they're just painting this narrative, and people are buying it. That's it.
There's nothing else to it. Social media is the Bible. <laughs> Period. End quote. Social media is the Bible. Nobody believes anything else. If it ain't on social media, it didn't fucking happen. If I didn't read it in a blog, it didn't fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? It very much so. I don't, I don't completely agree with you. And that's more my reason to saying that this shit is fake. Mm-hmm. Because they need you to be looking at something else. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a hat trick. But it's a distraction. Yeah, yeah watch this hand. Illusion. If you oh, will. now a bird coming out the hat. <laughs> Bitch, where you get that rabbit from? I thought it was going to be a bird. Come on, man. <laughs> but <laughs> but you telling me it's a rabbit, okay? Like, it is what it is. And then you just run with it. Nobody, nobody wants to look into shit deeper. Whatever you show me, I'm just going with it. You know, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. And that's scary. And that's why I deleted my Facebook. I really did. Anytime any of my friends come over here now and they reference Facebook, I'm like, I'm not on there for that reason. Whatever the fuck you're trying to tell me about, I'm not on there because I don't want to know about who just got killed in our town. I don't want to know about what the fuck's going on because that shit is sad and depressing and toxic because that shit is going to go on forever. I'm going to have to look at it every fucking day. I, look, I, I ain't saying I ain't going to get back on Facebook. But me not being on there, I feel like it's it's just healthy not to see that shit all the time. That shit is really crazy. Yeah. That shit is that sad. Really is. That shit is sad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Again, into, and, and that and that and that that's like a segue into what I wanted to, what I wanted to talk about next. Mm-hmm. Like how much time we got? I feel like we still got time. Fifteen. Twenty five. Yeah. Um, what is reality? Mm. Like, like, uh, perception. That's the word I was just about to speak on. Go ahead. Perception is reality. Mm -hmm. However you view somebody or look at somebody or think somebody is, like, that's, that's reality to you, to that individual. And, And like you said, they have hundreds of millions of people watching them. So you don't think at least 60 million of those 100 million, just say they do have 100 million watching. You don't think 60 million of those people out of those 100 million will believe, like, okay, this is for real. Like, yo, he just really smacked They do. Man. They no, do. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Yes, that's they my do. Point. And that's. And even, that's- if it's, even if it's scripted. Even if it's scripted, mm-hmm. do you feel like people going to still be like, nah, that shit for real, bro? Mm-hmm. We have to think about how much money we all, including us, Talk Spicy TV, in case you didn't know, you can follow us, check, subscribe, all that good shit on all platforms. Um, <laughs> talking about the Oscars. Nobody would have talked about the Oscars other than the, the little small underground people that talk about shit being... Um, racist or the Oscars don't support black people but now the Oscars is like look we do support black people we got a black host this year and we let this nigga smack this nigga on TV and we did nothing and he still won an Oscar I feel like that was really the bottom line of it all but I don't want to be a conspiracy person again because I feel like that's what people I don't know fucking what to fucking think and that's the scary part. That's why I don't have opinions on nothing. I just have my thoughts of, I, I can tell you how I think this person felt. I can tell you how I think this person felt. And I can tell you how I think this person felt. But outside of that, I can't tell you the root of what the fuck's going on. Because nobody fucking knows. All we can do is make speculations. Man, I totally agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, man, I, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy like, All we can do is speculate. That's, that's it. That's that's what reality has come to. It's sad. It's scary. If you think about it. Look, we don't even need to go that deep, but it's scary when you think about it. It really is. I can really go, I can really go somewhere and have one of my homeboys act like they don't know me or like whatever. And whatever transpired, and then we push that narrative. Yeah. Like this, like this is like this is what this is what happened. Like that um one of the Babe, the baby's first viral videos when he was fighting that nigga in the mall. The one nigga that was doing it to go viral 
like he was purposely trying to antagonize him, which again, we don't know if the baby knew that this was going anyways, everybody like Make jumped cool in. Or anything. Like, yes. Yeah. You don't know what bro. the truth you is. You can't get 50, your information on social media. Bags. And that's why you have to disconnect. You have to decompress from this shit. Don't get me wrong. I love my soul. Love that shit. But, like, you can't live your life and follow your life from what the fuck you see on there. Because the only thing in life is motherfuckers that I can touch, motherfuckers that I can see, motherfuckers that I can talk to directly, even text and direct message. And I don't know if that's you behind the phone. I don't know if that's you, bro. Yeah. That could be your mama, like, trying to see if if he's fucking. Like, I don't, it could be your little sister. Like, she's gay, but don't want to tell nobody she's gay and trying to talk to me, like, as you. Like, it could just be some fucking weird ass shit. You don't know what the hell's going on. You know, unless you can see something or touch something. That's the message in this motherfucking podcast today. <laughs> Believe half of what you see. And none of what you hear. But, but. See, mm-hmm. but that's the thing. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Because if you see it, you can't say that because people are seeing it and believing it, and that's that's not even enough. That's the point. That was the whole thing before YouTube, before, before any of this shit. I heard that quote. Mm-hmm. Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Mm-hmm. So even with this new wave of shit, like like how we sit in here talking about this, like I ain't about to just. Oh yeah, that's yeah, like nah bro. I I know how I know how the motherfuckers like and that shit. One hundred percent. And and even if I can touch you and see you and feel you, <laughs> this is going even deeper than believe how like you don't even know if the motherfucker in front of you is telling you the truth. Like I could be talking to you about who you are. Tell me your birthday, babe. When's your birthday? Nine twenty eight eighty seven. Cat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know if that's true. This man was born yesterday. Like, (laughs) this man's birthday is March 28th, uh, 1990. But you don't fucking know what the fuck is going on. Like, you don't know nothing. You don't know anything. You don't know anything other than yourself. So, (gasps) that's what I'm saying about perception. And, and one more message. You, you only know yourself you only have control of yourself you only this shit is about to come fucking 360 because you can't control anything in life other than how you react and how you uh you know what i'm trying to say you, you can't control anything in life nothing not not you not me not you not me yeah. you know what i'm saying that shit is crazy you can't control a lot of shit you can't you can't like control you can, anything you can control a lot of shit but it's, there are lots of things that are out of your control. Most things are out of your control. The only One thing I'm going to say that you can control is your motherfucking self. And your emotions. Control your vehicle. Control your vehicle. Because that's all we are. And you can still get hit. You, you can get hit, but control your vehicle. And yeah, what like, if they it, don't got insurance? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm being funny, but I'm being dead ass. Then, then, then your insurance should pay for that. What if I only got liability? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, can't, you can't trust anything. You really can't. Because what if that man would have smacked that man and he had a seizure and died? For real. How would you view? For real. What would have been like? You know what I'm saying? I know it's what ifs, and if, if there's a fifth, we'd be at the liquor store and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But what if he smacked that man hard enough to where it was like over? Like, how does he know that Chris Rock doesn't have a fucking pre existing condition? You know what I'm saying? It just goes so deep with that shit. Like, there's so many variables. There, what ifs? There are so many what ifs. And that's what you always have to think about before you react to anything is what if this person was clueless? What if. This person is mentally unstable. What if this person is sick? What if this person really has a, a disability? What if this person is retarded? Ooh, and that's a bad word. Again. It's really not. What if I didn't say that? Let's just, I, I, that wasn't me. That was me being somebody else acting as if. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that wasn't me. 
I just heard that word so many times. Don't cancel us. <laughs> Uh, no, nope. but it is crazy though. It's crazy. It's sad and it's weird, and we just live in a weird ass world. And I think that's the message for today's show: is don't believe any anything of what you see. Believe half of what you see. A quarter. And I believe a quarter of what you see. <laughs> and none. No, zero. Six. None. Who of said? What you fucking hear. Mm-hmm. For real. You gotta pay attention to stay dangerous. That's my shit. Which, let me explain that to y'all. Let me break it down for y'all. Because I didn't even understand what that meant at first. I just thought it was some gang gang shit. But if you nah, think about it, look, shit. let me give you my perspective real quick before we end it. Let me give you. <laughs> stay dangerous really means stay safe. But if you say stay safe, that just sounds like you just about to get. You, you ran that, over. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word you got to get ran over on. But if you stay dangerous, that means you're ready for somebody that is already being dangerous. And like, so if you got to get raw, and, bitch, I got a taser. Or, bitch, I got a pew pew. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just ready for whatever. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's what stay dangerous means, which I, I respect it now. I just thought it was so, you know. You have to pay attention to stay dangerous. Yeah, and you got to think about shit in depth. Opposed to just taking shit like surface level. Like when you, that's me, because I'm just la da 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 da. You're always supposed to use intelligence over emotions, because emotions will have you do some some goofy shit. You know what I mean? And at times you do get caught in your emotions, which is acceptable as a as a being on this earth. It's it's okay to be in your feelings sometimes, from time to time, Mm -hmm. but. You got to think first, though, like, like back, like, bringing it full circle, like, back to Will Smith, like, bro, you have all night, you could have did that at any point of the night, like, you could have, <laughs> let the joke go and by. grabbed Jade and yeah. gave her, like, the tight grip, yeah, like, I'm, I got yeah. you, babe, hold on, y'all see yeah, that? I'm gonna holler at you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna holler at him later, don't worry about, yeah. don't worry about none of that shit, mm-hmm. like, you feel me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up with him. You know what I'm saying? Then later on, when you was summer, summer, summer time, you could have been somewhere. Me, mo, so, me, me, feel me, me, like, me, like, 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 you could have yeah. been Molly Whopping her to my ass. Yeah, for yeah, real. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my point of the shit, like, bro. You didn't, like, you could have did that shit. You can't out. react off of emotion, nah. which I agree. Nah, and that's what make you. That is what makes you like a, uh... Well, I feel like emotions is what makes you human. Animals, you can almost expect what is yes, going to happen. But, but, but human... what, makes you, what makes you past the level of being a human is being it. Because a human is really a beast. You feel me? Like, we just... That, that can be another show. But what, what makes you surpass the human being and being like a god and all of that, and you know, and being who you really are, as a Nagaru, as as a what they would call an African American, um, is being able to control that. You feel me? That's why. That's why you start talking about mental health and all this shit, and he went off the edge and all of this shit because he wasn't able control himself and that's what beasts do you feel me like we just we just went through that with one of our pets like you just so you so bella not y'all y'all know us. bella i'm about to start a go fund me because the bitch got bit through the face i'll tell y'all about it later go ahead babe i'm sorry you gotta control yourself <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that's that's part of the plan like you have to control yourself and that's what puts you above being the beast you get what i'm saying See the animals. The animals react off instinct. Mm-hmm. They react off what the instinct is. The emotion. No, and goddamn well she ain't got no teeth. Yeah, but still, but the instinct you. is I got it. You can't play me. This is my yard. You feel me? This you is got my yard. Four gold. Yeah. She ain't got no teeth. She's trying to fight a dog with all her teeth. And Every one now, of them. Now you now you look crazy. You know what I mean? Like 
Yeah. Like you gotta control us. That's what separates us from the beast. You know what I'm saying? And that's like So the message is Eyes over ease, man. Intelligence over emotions, man. Yeah. Intelligence over emotions. That's I feel like smart, you know. Cause there's two separate things. Nah, cause because they are cause cause you could be the motherfucking smartest person in the no. world. And see when I say intelligence, I'm not talking about like book smarts type shit. When I say intelligence over emotions, I'm saying you know better. Okay. Just like just I like from a child. Since a child, when you was doing bullshit, your mama told you, girl, you know better. Oh boy, you know better. You get your ass whooped. Because you do know better. Got four. Because you know four better. Four ass whoopings because I'm, no. Because you knew better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You so know what I'm saying? Because you ain't like ass whooping. Yeah, no, and that's no. that's what I mean when I say intelligence over emotion. Because your I'm intelligence smart. is, oh, yo, I get my ass whooped <laughs> by my parents. I get my ass whooped by nature. You go outside in the tornado. <laughs> I did go play in a big ass hurricane. Yeah, me now. too. But you know, And it was flooded. Yeah, but it wasn't smart. That, was, that wasn't okay, intelligence. Good, but go ahead. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> No, it wasn't. It wasn't. That shit was fun, though. But that's, you know, that's more of my point. Like That's the message. Your eyes over ease. Believe half of what you say. And when I say eyes over ease, that's intelligence over emotion. And you know, you know you can get to this later without disturbing the peace or disturbing whatever, whatever is happening at the moment. You can, you can not do it at that time. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And believe half of what you see. Of course. Believe a quarter of what you see and none of what you hear. Yeah. And I'm going to just say this as an emotional, because I'm a cancer, female. I, I'm doing that because Are I feel you like. Not a female? Am I? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that because I feel like everybody thinks that females and your zodiac sign has something to do with like how emotional you are. I feel like I'm probably like the top tier emotional person. Both my parents are cancers. That's like the most emotional sign. I'm like a a super saiyan cancer because I'm just extra in touch with my emotions. But I'm also able to control my emotions on the outside. On the inside, this motherfucker might be burning up. I'm setting shit on fire. I'm, but you know, you just got to be able to control what the fuck you're feeling. You have to. I don't care how emotional you are. Yeah. You have to control yourself. You have to. You have to be able to control them. And that that is like the the key in life. When you're able to control that, you have the power to do whatever the fuck you want to do. That's it. And I concur. Cheers. Clink, clink. Yeah, I don't have nothing to do. Just see you your boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Who said it had to be a glass? Who, uh, society? You listen. I'm just playing. When y'all chime in, do us a favor, please. Mm -hmm. Chime in. Tell us your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. Please control them. You know, please control them. Conversations, we like having nice debates, you know, and all that other shit. We ain't for that. So, just chime in. Let's let's hear what the audience thinks about Will, Jada, August, Chris Rock. <laughs> everybody's perspective. I think that that's really the goal is to see what everybody thinks. Everybody else is feeling. Not so much just Will and Chris. Like everybody. Yeah. Was the Academy in on it? And while you're doing that, make sure you subscribe, hit like, dislike, follow us on all platforms. Thumbs Instagram, up, thumbs down. Facebook, uh, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. everything at Talk Spicy TV. All of that, all of that Talk Spicy TV. Fuck wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Hit that motherfucking button, please.